Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ramsha and I'm your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to install and configure Nginx server in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the last session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Nginx and their use cases. So for the demonstration purpose, I have lab scenario for you. Please look at that. Guys, this is my Nginx server lab setup environment. So let's start the introduction of Nginx first. So Nginx is one of the most popular web server search developed across the internet. It is if, uh, uh, efficient, versatile and works well on pretty much any Linux distribution. Whether you need a local server for testing or want a host a website for the message, Nginx is easy to set up. It can also be used as a reverse proxy server. So if I talk about some features of Nginx, it support reverse proxy with caching, it support web sockets, load balancing and fault tolerance, it support fast CGI with caching, uh, uh, caching, it can be used for handling static files, index files and auto indexing, it support SSL, both name based and IP based virtual server can be configured in, 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 in Nginx, HTTP basic authentication, all the main mail proxy server features are supported in the Nginx. So, here I have two tested virtual machine for you. First machine acting as a Linux server with the host name server.example.com. IP address is 192.1.0.1 and running Linux OS is RAL 8.0. On the other hand, I have another machine that is acting as a client and with the static name station1.example.com. IP address is 192.1.0.2 and the running OS is RAL 8.0. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you, I will configure this machine as a Nginx server and check it from the Linux client side. Okay. So let's begin the lab session. Okay, mm, guys, this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm on the server side. So first of all, I will show you the host name, IP address and running release version of this machine. So I say host name CTL. Uh, look at that, this is the static name is server.example.com and currently I'm on RHEL 8.0. And if I'm talking about the assign IP, so IP is host name hyphen I. So this is the IP address of this machine. Now we have to follow a few steps to configure this machine acting as an Nginx server. The first step is install Nginx. So for this I go with yum utility and remember yum repository should be pre-configured. Uh, so I run the command yum install Nginx hyphen y. So let's see what happened. Okay, it's overall eight package. Installing Approx 90% power done. It's verifying. Okay, completed. So uh, to verify the Nginx installation, we have a command for that through which we can verify Nginx software version. The command is Nginx hyphen V. So, okay, look at that. It will show me the software version of Nginx. So now in the next part, start and enable the Nginx server at boot time using sister CTL command. So I go with system CTL, enable Nginx hyphen hyphen now. Great. Now uh, we can get the status of Nginx using again systemctl command. So we have systemctl one more time with the status Nginx. You can see that it is active and running. So now in the next part we will check default Nginx listening port. By default Nginx is configured to listen port number 80 but if you want to change the default port you can do that by reconfiguring Nginx con file which is in uh, etc Nginx. Nginx.conf. 
here it is so open this configuration file and change the port whatever you want to assign so first of all let's see the default port we have command ss hyphen tu tu nlp and let pipe grip grip uh, ng and x okay let's see here it is great so guys you can see the port number 80 is open for nginx now in the next part we will check the default test web page so our server is up and uh, uh, it is in running condition so it is time to test it so for this i use my ip address and open the browser and type a particular url the url is firefox so i type my browser first firefox http 192.168.0.1 or you can assign the computer name also host name also server1.example.com and type ampersand okay see what happened so if you have a graphical uh, user interface you can just open the uh, your favorite browser and type this url to just verify and check the default test web page and uh, suppose guys if you uh, system doesn't have a graphical interface then we can verify through uh, through the terminal also we have a command regarding that curl command so i can go with curl uh, capital hyphen i sorry hyphen i and http type the ip address or name whatever you want this time i go with the ip address no issue and i press enter see what happened look at that so capital i show only head information so by this uh, curl command i can also verify it so now move to the next step which is configure server block so in nginx server block means it is similar to virtual host in apache uh, which can be used to encapsulate configuration details and host and more than one domain from single server so by default nginx has one server block pre-configured which is located in us slash usr slash here nginx html so okay it's loaded uh, let it be load first yeah look at that it's a server under example.com welcome to nginx on reddit and pass linux so this is the default web page uh, which is coming through uh, index.html which is in located in slash usr share nginx html and uh, the configuration file is slash etc nginx nginx.conf okay great so i'm going to close this one and back to on my terminal so i'm saying uh, that uh, by default nginx has a one server block pre-configured which is located in this location slash usr share nginx and stml this one so here you can find out all the files uh, related to this uh, default pre-configured setup now we will configure our own server block with custom port i want to change the port number uh, on, uh, on something else not on 80 suppose i want to go with on 81 so how can i do that so in this video i'm using example.com for the domain name this may be replaced with your own domain name okay so first of all we have to create a directory for example.com domain so let's create a directory first so sorry mkdir uh, usr share nginx and uh, example.com ex exampl.com okay i created a directory one now move to that directory and here uh, i'm going to create an index.html file for my server block so i go with vie matter type index.html type some matter i said uh, mm, this is custom server block okay save and quit uh remove one one okay save and quit all right let's verify through cat command one more time okay this is custom server block okay now in the next part we have to create nginx server block configuration file so we have to move a particular location the location is etc nginx D. so this is the location where we can create configuration file for the server block if i run the ls command currently there is no configuration file available in this environment so what i'm going to do i'll make a file uh, through vi writer and example.com dot conf so example.com is my domain and dot conf means configuration file so i press enter and just few write down few entries so i go with server start basis and first of all define the port number so i say listen port number this time not 80 i'm going with 81 okay uh, then go with index uh, 
uh, in my case index.html okay now tell the server name in my case server name is what is my server name server one dot example dot com great and then we have to define the location the root directory location so in my case that is usr share nginx nginx and example dot com save and close the braces and quit from there that's sufficient for me so what I did find, I just mentioned the port number, the index.html, the server name, and the root directory location of this one, where my where I have my configuration files or my index.html file. So now save and quit from here and check the syntax error using nginx t command. That is very very important. Check the syntax error. Okay, look at that. Syntax is okay and it's successfully. So looks good no error found syntax is okay now modify the host file which is optional i have already done that but i want to show i want to share with you if you are using the domain name which is not registered or public then slash etc host file may be needed to modify to display server1.example.com web page so i open my host file hosts host uh, look at that so you can just write down the ip address first then you have to define the uh, complete host name and then you can give the aliases also. So you have to just write down this way so that when you type ping the IP address or, or name, a name is, should be properly resolved with the IP addresses. Great, it working, it works. So now everything looks good. Restart the system CTL, restart Nginx. Okay, now press enter. Time to check to the custom server block page in a web browser. So again, I use Firefox, HTTP, server1.example.com, colon, this time 81, port number is 81. Again, I'm using ampersand and press enter. Let's see, it shows my custom web page or not. And uh, uh, I can also check from my curl command from my other machine. So I move to the my station one. Yeah, here it is my client machine. I log in with root first and uh, I show the host name. See the host name station dot example dot com here. I it is totally command based environment. So I go with the curl command curl capital uh, or you can just only type curl HTTP server one dot example dot com port number 81 so once i press enter look at that this is the custom server block okay and if i go back again on the server side look at that here it is a, a graphical format using mozilla firefox so now we can see nginx server nginx serving my domain name properly this is how we can work with the nginx server in rel 8 so that's all about this video finally this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to share like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye